Hey everybody, my name is Nigel Hay and welcome to my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a This Is Niagara, giving you an update of the COVID-19 in our region, what's going on. And then I'll also be taking you for a drive down the QEW and the Niagara Parkway. And then I'll also explain why I've been offline for a while. Niagara region is now reporting 427 uh, cases of COVID-19, 229 active cases, along with 161 total cases which are now being resolved, which is good to know. And then sadly, they're reporting on 37 deaths. Now, what's confusing is if you look at the uh, Niagara region, sorry, the Niagara Health uh uh, posting they tell a different picture they're now reporting 29 deaths which is lower which is good but why why are the figures different uh, to date total patients tested in our region is 6200 out of them 300 tested positive 83 have been admitted uh, 24 are currently being treated and like i said 29 have sadly succumbed to uh, death uh, for our Ontario, as of today, the numbers just keep going higher and higher. Uh, total deaths, sadly, is 763. Uh, we have a total number of cases of 13,519. And uh, resolved, which is good, which is a good ratio, is 7,087, which is very, very good. Now, here's something really interesting. I'm going to put it up here. Uh, a friend of mine sent me this uh, thing he's been doing. He's been keeping an eye on the counts over the past month or so and if we go back to april uh the first which is a wednesday and ontario alone had 2581 cases go up to the following week for ontario that 2500 figure then became 5276 then you take it to the 15th of april and that figure drastically becomes 8447 and as of right now well, it, yesterday it would have been 11,735, but we do now know the figure is 12,879. So there's a big, steady jump continuously of positive cases throughout, the, uh, throughout Ontario. All right, now we've got that over and done with. Let's get on with the little feature of today's video. I was out and about last few days, mainly through work. So I managed to uh, take some uh, footage of where I've been and uh, put it together with some music so you can... Get out and have a look around. It starts off uh, at the far end of Hamilton, and unfortunately, it's a it's a photograph. Uh, I actually thought I pressed record, but it turns out it was photograph and I had a few issues as I was driving, so I, I couldn't play with it. So the first few images are still images, and I did a few shots along the QEW after that, and I also went out today doing some filming, so I had to nip into St. Catharines, and we had a little drive down the um, Niagara Parkway. Also, um, I'll tell you why I've been offline for a couple of weeks. It's um, it's a beautiful day. It's finally starting to warm up. So um, I'm going to show you some footage of uh, my commute over the past few days. Because it's the only thing I can show you right now. So enjoy.
off. So uh, I'm gonna take the scenic way home and I'll show you around. Uh, we'll go through Niagara Falls and we'll take the boulevard back and then I'll be home for the weekend. Nowhere else to go. I'm gonna make the most of it, it's beautiful out. As you can tell, it's uh, eerily quiet down here. What is it, week five, week six? I think it was five weeks ago. I was probably actually wearing the same thing, actually, when I came into here and it was still open. And now uh, everywhere's just deserted. It's like the world ended. Uh, normally this is a very busy place even the first thing in the morning especially late April um, usually late April we have a lot of international tourists around this area uh, checking out the falls staying in many of the hotels and you'd see a couple hundred people easily in the morning and so far I've counted half a dozen two four lady walking dog five and, and the dog six so six people five people and a dog I'm getting bored of this lockdown I really am tedious, frustrating. I'm ready to come out because it's starting to play on everyone's mental health and it's doing my head in. So I thought I killed two birds with one stone. I had to do something so I thought I'd drive home this way and uh, make the most of it while I can because I'm going to be home all weekend doing nothing again like everyone else. All right, on we go. Let's go and find some more stuff. Okay, behind me is one of many, many boat ramps in the Niagara region, which are now closed. And I can tell you, it has nothing to do with me. Nothing whatsoever. The sign says by police order. The boat ramps were closed by the order of the provincial government, not by me. So uh, let's just put this rumor to bed, right? Many of you misread an article in the Niagara Falls Review, which basically people thought I got the boat ramps closed. No, I didn't. Basically said, I was curious why so many boats were going into Crystal Beach when I knew all the boat ramps in Hamilton, Toronto, Mississauga, uh, Holton, and all those regions were all closed and it was just bringing more and more traffic to us. So uh, that was my curiosity. 
Next thing I know, it's all over the paper, people misread it, and they actually believe that I closed the boat ramps. It is bollocks. I did not close the boat ramps. All right, let's talk about mental health issues very, very quickly. Uh, back in January, uh, Bell Canada did their annual um, mental health awareness day and raised a lot of money. Now, I should have looked into this before I went online and did this video, but where has that money gone to and what's it doing? Because right now, people need a lot of help when it comes to mental health issues. We're being put into a situation we've never, ever been in before. No one in living memory is going through what, we've been, what we're going through right now in this country. No one. I can't really say that, can I? No one. There's probably someone out there who's going to correct me. Well, you can if you want to. It is very, very important that we raise awareness to people that are suffering out there right now. If you're feeling down, low, depressed, feeling suicidal in any way, please make sure you reach out to the appropriate people for help. Do not be afraid to ask your friend or speak to someone you know. And if not, get in touch with one of the numbers I'm going to put in the description below and make sure you get in touch with them. Please do not become a casualty of this terrible disease and take your own life please do not do that we're all going to hit rock bottom at some point uh we just have to be strong for one another and just get ourselves through this personally i think we might be through the worst of this and better days are only ahead now uh, there is talk already of opening up the province of ontario so that's going to be a bit of a, a relief for many of us so we just need to see some more positive things and get through this uh next few weeks and hopefully we'll get to the end of this very very soon don't forget the seniors out there not the ones in the homes the ones that are living in their houses right now uh they're not being able to hug their grandkids their own children for such a long time now they're feeling it also don't forget those people who have lost loved ones just recently you can't go to a hospital like you used to and all say goodbye to your loved one and give them a hug and stuff like that those days have long gone for now and even worse when you go to a funeral five to ten people at a funeral that is it so all these things are playing on a lot of people's minds right now so if you're down you're depressed please reach out to a friend or a stranger uh, call all the numbers i put below and just reach out there's always someone out, out there who's going to help you listen to you and try and get you through this regardless of your age or your gender there's always someone out there to help mm -hmm.